Hello, welcome. My name is Filipa and Archangel Gabriel um, wants to um, give us some messages. Um, yeah, let's see what what they are. In these times of great changes, of deep transformation, many, many, many of you have been confronted with shattered dreams the impossibility to achieve things you wished for, the ending of relationships, the shifts in workplace and relationships, alterations in the family dynamics and the changes within each and every one of you. In times of great changes, these things of not achieving what you had wished for or hoped for are a reality in such dimension of the world that you live in. And these are natural processes of peeling off the many layers that no longer serve you, which your soul also no longer wants you to carry them. Such times upon the realization of non- achievement of what you wished for, which we see it as expectations you had. It pushes you to change and many of you within this change have surrendered and gone with the flow and we applaud you for your bravery and yet there is something inside of you that doesn't quite sit well. There's a hole, a hurt, it can be experienced in many different ways. And that is what you humans call loss in every great transformations. One must let go. One must say goodbye. One must end things. And even if they were not the best for you. It was a part of you. And that is what many are experiencing, is the shedding of a part of you that was and no longer is. And we ask you to understand this 
as we perceive that many of you feel confused in these times of change. Many of you do not understand why does it feel so bad if it is the right choice. And we ask you again to pause. The moments of silence that you get for yourself are important so that you can, hmm, in many aspects we would say regarding this matter, you can understand yourself better and you can integrate the great, great energies and light codes that are available to you so that your system, your body, your nervous system can properly integrate and you can become fully functional in these new upgraded versions of you. In times of great change and fast and quick as the ones happening now, There is the doubt of now what? How to navigate things where you have concluded what no longer works and you are still discovering and exploring what is it that now works for you. We invite you to be curious. We invite you to stay centered. We invite you to not precipitate yourself onto situations and yet observe and experience those that truly resonate with you. And as we are helping you with the energies to dilute the confusion, dilute the hurt and the pain, we also help you to make sense of what it was, make sense of how it was to have the clarity to perceive things as they were. And as you process it, we invite you to be open to different interpretations that you probably have not been able to interpret or infer before. These times when you process the past are great opportunities for expansion of your consciousness, for when you gain a new, higher perspective on things, you evolve and upgrade. We send you love and we send you blessings. That was um, his message.
Um, I hope you felt the um, the energies that he was uh, bringing forth. Uh, they were quite um, quite intense. There was a time there that it was uh, difficult for me as a body to to continue speaking. Um, I think that hmm, perhaps uh, he would like to give some more advices with what okay oh yeah he's telling me uh he wants <laughs> he wants me to uh use an oracle now to give uh some messages so that i have fun because <laughs> he knows that i like cards and uh <laughs> and tarot and oracle so he wants me to have fun he says because having fun in the small things he's saying is important and we tend to uh, forget to have fun and we take some things for granted he's saying um so try to have fun in the small things of life sometimes you don't have to go overboard or change too much or make a big effort it is about how you experience and okay the human myth um i think it's a very appropriate card for an archangel to give <laughs> by the way this is the oracle that i'm using a uh, fairy wisdom oracle by amy brown and nancy brown um okay the human myth The human myth, um, he's referring to this as all of the, we humans have created myths and misconceptions that we apply as rules um, and that we have uh, used them, these myths as uh, foundations for society, for ourselves, for our uh, stereotypes for everything and he says that we should question things with an open mind not with the the criticism not the you know like when when children uh some children go to that phase that they're against everything not 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 as that uh but with maturity just question everything and instead of classifying it as wrong or right, just understand that, yeah, that is not correct. Um, and put things into context so that we understand why uh, we held on to myths. And now he's saying also to look at this on the collective society, but also at uh, ourselves. So each one of us will have myths and he says that many of these myths are correlated uh, no sorry associated with uh, the expectations that we have or that we have had in life and it's because these myths no longer make sense that that or rather probably were not really correct were a myth uh, that things uh, in our lives uh, personally um, are changing so much and uh, falling apart. And this creates uh, non-sustainable situations, these uh, myths. So, okay, before moving on, he says, look at the myths of your society, of your own myths, of the myths of your uh work relationships and just be aware of them he wants us to be aware and acknowledge them so that we know where we can change or where is it that we want to change and are ready to change 
so that we don't make the same mistake again. He didn't use the word mistake, uh, but I did. I put it there. He said so that we don't do uh, the same thing all over again. I put the mistake there. Okay. Um, oh, gosh. It is a lot. Um, which one? This one. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah, he wants me to have fun. Uh, the brat. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so sometimes we are all little brats. <laughs> <laughs> um and it's okay if rather sometimes it's a good way to use it as a coping mechanism like like temporarily on something um but it has become a pattern it has become Mm, not something occasion that happens occasionally, but something that um, uh, is kind of everywhere all the time and, and dictates many of our um, decisions or attitudes and actions. Um, he says that uh, Brad represents um, also when we want to we 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 want, we want he's showing me when we want things to be that way and it, it must happen like this thing must happen otherwise my whole world is going to fall apart or a uh, half of my world or a fifth of my world whatever he says that's like a brat type attitude that he means with this card um and that's exactly what he means that in the future, uh, if this has been a pattern, then to change, to not be a brat. Yeah. So also um, it is related to if you have a tendency to want to control things, uh, that's a form of expectations. So if uh, someone doesn't behave the way that you expect them to, um, then um, depending on then your um, personality, your reaction can vary, but essentially you're a brat. Okay. Yeah, so it's about, and in a, in a bigger sense, in deeper sense, um, it's for all of us to see where is it that we are being brats he says we all have something in our lives at least that we were brats about it um so look at what it was and and it's a pattern a behavioral pattern that we we'll probably need to change needs to be addressed okay one more yeah. Whoops. Okay. Here it is. The blue fairy. Uh um hmm. let me this one's here. He's giving me uh, two things at the same time, the feeling of relaxation and the feeling of wisdom. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> it's in the questioning and acknowledging acknowledgement of the human myths and in the acknowledgement of where we are brats 
that we find this spirit of relaxation because we are centered it it is we found truths in our about us about our external world and reality and that's where the wisdom then that's where then lessons are turned into wisdom and from that space that we can use them <clears throat> And he says fairy because then like a fairy um, makes her magic to transform the world around her. That's where we can also be fairies and transform our reality. Yeah. Anything else? Yes. Okay. This one is for the love of dragons. And let's see what shows up on this deck. Mm -hmm. oh by the way happy new year everybody <laughs> um yeah forgot about that time is it's been hmm. the matrix of time is is clearly folding and unfolding uh all the time because i do get lost with time oh okay Got to go get it. Okay, back. Had to go onto the floor <laughs> to get the card because it flew. Um, and it's the compassionate. So he says that um, <clears throat> when we are doing these works uh, of dismissifying incorrect concepts, ideas, um, behaviors, uh, thoughts in ourselves and, and in society and others around us because of many uh, type of feelings that come to the surface from shame, uh, anger, uh, feelings of injustice, feelings of betrayal, um of things being unfair all of these type of types of feelings um put us in a place where it is very easy to become judgmental so he means with this card the compassionate exactly to not be judgmental to be able to discern things and to give the right labels uh, without judgment. And he says that uh, he knows it's difficult, especially when we're still processing something that hurt us or that had a great impact in our lives that we were not aware of and, and things like that, that it is, it, it, is, it is normal that there's a phase that it's very difficult to not be judgmental and have all of those feelings around, but to be very aware that it should only be a phase. It is not something that you should um, get attached to and allow it to fester and impregnate um, all of your uh, energy about it. Because then what you feed um, and what you allow to grow uh, is, is has power over you. Okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's all for today. <laughs> okay, um, I hope that uh, this helped you and that you enjoyed this video.
Um, I uh, thank you so much uh, for for watching, and um, I'll see you next time.